Here it is guys, a new kayak. Just got this a little bit ago, actually a few weeks ago. But uh, doing an intro right here on it. Already taken out a couple times just to get the feel of it. But the model I got was the XN 128T with the Yak Power. And what the Yak Power is, it comes with this power switch right here, control power switch here to power up all your needs. Fish finders, trolling motor, uh, whatever electronics you want. Has a power outlet right there. Has one right there. And one in the back right here. And you have a control pad right there. You know, you got the bow, middle, and stern, and then, you know, one, two, switch right here. That is part of that unit. That was one of two reasons why I bought it. The second reason is, finally get to stand up and do some kayak fishing here. That was my number one seller right there. I wanted a stand-up kayak, and I finally got one. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you a clip of my first day out with this kayak caught a couple nice uh, chunks out there so guys I hope you enjoy this clip and we'll get back and I'll show you the mods I've added Yes, guys, first bass right here. There we go, guys, first bass. Check that out guys, nice little two and a half, three pounder. Whew. All right guys, got a 214 right here. 214, nice chunk. There you go guys, little bass.
it guys right in the back of that throat this guy choked it look at that close that bell and that bait's gone nice all right we got a three one another three pounder nice thank you So the first mod I added was this troll uh, anchor trolley right here. I got it for about 15, 16 bucks on Amazon. Uh, the last one I got was a uh, H2O Yak tro uh, anchor trolley, which I got for that, and that was five dollars more. But I saw this one was five dollars cheaper and pretty much does the same thing. So I added some rivets here four of them to help with the tracking and also came with some nice pulleys right here so that was the first thing I added and I got this bigger cart right here got this uh, clothesline retractable hanger thing pretty good don't get the cheap ones I'm gonna let you know that I went through two or three of them of the cheaper ones and they aren't good like the last one I had on here it finally broke the spring wouldn't pull up the line anymore so I went ahead and paid a few extra dollars and got a better unit and when I first got it I could tell that it was already better quality and you can see it has great pullback here so pretty awesome another thing I had this on my other cart but I had an extra one so I add it here just use some zip ties I use a lot of zip ties because everything's not permanent you know I can always if I don't like it or need to change things just clip clip have my camera mount there painted all this black with some black spray paint on this side I have my net holder um, I've seen some people they flip this lid around but I think that's just a personal preference. I don't mind having the uh, lid open up this way. Pretty cool. And it's really roomy in here. So I just use this compartment right here to hold all my tackle boxes, which is an improvement because I don't really like keeping my tackle out in the hot Florida sun here. And this compartment here, I just basically keep all my electronics, personal gear, back and camera equipment in there. And another addition to this, um, got this Brocraft rod holder right here. Mounts on the track. It's pretty good quality, paid 20 bucks for it. But uh, a few other things, it did not come with the side handles here so I went ahead and bought a pair of these handles right here drilled some holes use some rivets silicone make it waterproof and it's pretty good another thing I added right here is this uh, kayak paddle clip right here silicone that and screwed it in and it holds pretty good another thing I got two of these one from the other kayak there for the other paddle but got a uh, cable so I don't lose my paddle I've already almost lost my other paddle a few times so definitely something that you need to get if you're getting a kayak and another thing talking about this seat right here this is one of the best kayak seats I've ever sat in it is awesome and what I love about this design is that you can use this lever right here and it's on a swivel and it can swing 360 degrees. Other thing is I like the levels of where you can put the seat at. I keep it on the highest because uh, you know it's just easier for me to just pop right up when I want to stand up quick. So pretty cool. But overall, just a couple times I've used this, it is pretty awesome. Um, as far as stability goes when standing up, I always say I'd rate it a 7 out of a 10. This does the job and it 
and I'm quite satisfied with it. Um, I can move across this platform. I can turn around, fish that way, any direction I want to. So half the time I'm standing up and half the time I'm sitting down. And just in the clip you guys seen, it was pretty awesome catching those two three pounders standing up. What an experience. Uh, the reason I chose the Desert Storm color is it basically resembles kind of a log. I like to sneak up on the bass or fish when I'm hunting them down, you know, without spooking them. So I try to go as natural as possible. But uh, plans for this kayak here, I do plan on getting a, a fish finder, depth finder. I don't need some extreme one, just some basic, just to basically tell me what's underneath in the water. And another thing I have as far as future plans is getting a trolling motor on here. I will tell you one thing though, when you first buy this kayak, you definitely want to have to tighten down all the screws. Everything was loose. So tighten them down. And uh, another thing is, this thing is heavy. This thing weighs 96 pounds. And it is kind of difficult to turn in the water. Because it's so big and heavy. Like, I could turn on a dime on that. But this, I got to use a little more effort. But overall, I'm satisfied with it. So guys, I hope you enjoy this and uh, look forward to uh, using this more in my videos. I'll still be using this too. The Tamarack right here, amazing kayak. But uh, I do plan on adding a few more mods along the way. It's just, uh, you know, go with the flow, see what I want and need. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until then, tight lines and keep fishing. Later.